Welcome inside the State Champs Sports Network studio for another edition of State Champs at the State Finals presented by Lawrence Technological University. The Blue Devils want you to recruit yourself. Go to L2Athletics.com. This is the 2021 Ohio Basketball State Championships. Four state champions were crowned at UD Arena in Dayton. In Division I, we had Westerville Central taking on Centerville. The Warhawks and Elks both in their first state finals. In Division II, LeBron James alma mater, Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary looking for state title number nine, Columbus DeSales standing in their way. Lutheran East in its fourth consecutive Final Four against Worthington Christian who hasn't been in over a decade. And in Division IV, Columbus Grove hoping to win their first championship taking on Botkins who haven't been to the big dance since 1994. And that is where we'll begin. I'm Kevin Cherzinski, and we're back at the University of Dayton for the Boys Basketball State Finals. In Division Four, it's the Botkins Trojans coming in at 26 and three with a very tight defense, only giving up 42 points per game this season. And they took on the 25 and two Columbus Grove Bulldogs, whose defense is nothing to sneeze at either. The offense averaging just over 60 points. Trojans come out of the gate on fire. Jaden Pretty Powell working off the good screen, lets it loose from three point land and rattles it home. And then he does it again. Botkins went on a 16-0 run to start this game off and had a 20-7 lead after the first quarter of play. Bulldogs get it going in the second. Tate Bernessa working it inside for Blake Reynolds and he finishes at the rack and draws the foul. Then in transition, they pick up the board. Long pass up court and Gabe Clement gets it under the hoop, the layup and one. And Botkins working it deep themselves. Zane Paul the give for Carter Plyman. He gets the hoop and the harm as the Trojans took a 28-22 lead into the half. And Bakken stayed physical in the second half. Jacob Plyman working inside. He gets the tough lay-in to drop. Good movement from the Bulldogs as they try to close the gap in the fourth. Great determination for Blake Reynolds as he fights his way inside and goes off glass. And the Trojans, Pretty Powell leading everybody with 27 points, unleashing one of his four triples on the day. And the Trojans close it out with emphasis as Carter dishes it to big bro Jacob and he finishes with a big slam. And Botkins able to hoist the state hardware for the first time in school history after beating Columbus Grove 60 to 44, your final score. I'm Lauren Plant, and we continue our coverage from Dayton in Division Three, where the 15 and three Cleveland Heights Lutheran East Falcons came in with four Final Four appearances in the last four years, looking for their first title since 2017. Matched up with 28 and one Worthington Christian, 21 Pilots lead singer Tyler Joseph was on the team last time the Warriors played for State Hardware. We get going with five minutes left in the first. Falcons came in following a six-point semifinals win over Ottawa Glendorf in the semis. Colin Albert stops and pops from the charity stripe for the bucket. Now the Warriors haven't lost a game in two months, got off to a slow shooting start, but with four seconds left in the quarter, the junior point guard DJ Moore stepped up. The Central District Player of the Year finds some separation, nails the triple try from NBA range as the buzzer sounds. The recent Liberty University commit had a game high 28 points, but Lutheran East held a five point lead after one. Worthington came out quicker in the second. First possession, Tyler Kinber gonna go it alone, finger roll on the run falls. The Falcons kept pace. Sir Hughes with the bounce pass inside to the Georgetown commit. Jalen Billingsley, Falcons led at the break 23 to 15. Jared Larry transferred down from Michigan this season to Lutheran East and had an immediate impact. Matched his season high 16 points in the semifinals. Here in the third, the step back and the long gun finds nothing but bottom. He's got a Cleveland State offer. Then a little razzle dazzle for East. Collins kicks to Larry. The dribble drive, penetration, and the behind the back pass to Billingsley. He finishes with the two hand flush. But the Warriors doing their best to keep it close. Great ball distribution here. Kinberg, the quick dish to Kobe Buford. Moore finds a cutting Izzy on Hazelwood for the easy deuce. And in the fourth, getting transition buckets. 
Moore picks off the Falcons' bounce pass, outlets up to a streaking Kinberg with the one-handed jam. And with a little over seven minutes to go, Warriors only down 39-32. But Luther Nice never trailed in this one. Albert finds Billingsley all alone under the basket for another dunk to open the lead back to 10. Double-double, 24 points and 12 boards for Billingsley. Final moments now, and Moore looking for a triple to make it a two-point ball game. Short. Larry open on the other end, looking for one more, but the horn sounds. Lutheran East stamps their place as a new state power in Division III. The Falcons capture their third state title in school history and second in five years as they knock off Worthington Christian 61-56. Did you record an unbelievable touchdown, a game-winning goal, or just a proud parent moment? Then we want your clip. Upload your video to the brand new State Champs Network app so we can feature it on one of our shows and give your player, team, and school the recognition they deserve. All it takes is just a few easy clicks, and every clip that is submitted will automatically be eligible for prizes. Download the State Champs Network app today for iPhone and Android devices. I'm Jeremy Otto, and in Division II making their seventh trip in the past 10 years to finals weekend is Akron St. Vincent St. Mary, the number one team in the state regardless of any division. They've only lost two games this year early in the season to Moeller, and the other being to Maryland's Demantha Catholic. Their opponent, the 19-7 Columbus DeSeal Stallions, looking for their first state title since 1987. Picking things up in the second, and the Irish with some D, Harris able to pick off the inbound pass, long outlet for Lance Hayes, who double clutches and scores. Good ball movement for DeSales here before it ends up in the hands of Atticus Schuler. He tucks and drives, getting the runner to go. St. Vincent St. Mary working the ball around the perimeter themselves before the Ohio State commit Malachi Branham drives and stuffs it home. Check out this effort by Obed Akarim driving to save the possession, chucking it to Atticus Schuler, who finds Desmond Watson down low for a one-handed slam. The Stallions went into halftime up 33-28. St. Vincent St. Mary ramped up their defense in the second half. Here with the full court pressure, Harris ends up with it and emphatically punches this one through. The Stallions free throw attempt is off the line. Branham picks up the board, brings it up the floor, and finishes through traffic. He had a game high 37 points. Again, the ball is poked free on the other end. They feed Branham again, who doesn't disappoint. The Stallions only able to muster nine points in the quarter, but a big three came from Watson here. He led to sales with 23. To the fourth now, to sales looking for the lob. Just off the mark in transition, Branham feeding it this time to Ramar Pryor, who finishes the two. Michael Sabatino with a pump and a jumper just as the final buzzer sounds, but it would be the Irish coming out on top 72 to 50 as they bring home their ninth state title in school history. Slocum, and we finish our boys basketball finals coverage with Division One. Westerville Central has been on fire this year. A new school single season record with 23 wins. And everybody remembers the half court buzzer beater from Tassos Cook in the regional finals. They were taking on Centerville. The Elks coming in at 25 and three, ranked fourth in the state regardless of division and looking for the program's first state title. The Elks come out strong. Rich Rolf pokes the ball away, then check out the hustle. Hitting the floor, that starts the break. Tom House finds Trey Johnson up ahead. He picks up the points. The Thunderhawks playing some defense of their own. Donovan Hunter getting up for the block at the board. Quick outlet for Cook. The senior also rises up and throws it down. Centerville comes right back at him. Gabe Cups taking his time, then spots up for three. The Elks were up 15 to 11 after the first. The defenses were stingy in the second, allowing only seven points apiece. 
But that didn't stop Tom House, who knocks down a triple from NBA range. And on the other end, Westerville Central works it around. The ball ends up with the game's leading scorer, Landon Tillman, for three of his own. And we go into halftime with Centerville in front, 22-18. Both teams continue to dial from distance in the third. MJ Davis kicks it out for Tillman. He knocks down another from way beyond the long line. The Elks keeping pace, though. Off the screen from Rolf, the sophomore Cups pulls up from straight away for three, and it was a three-point game heading into the fourth. And that's where the shooting display continues. Tillman with the drive and kick to Davis, who's all alone in the corner for another triple. That forced a Centerville timeout, and the Thunderhawk faithful were making some noise. But in crunch time, it's Cups running the show. He finds Quinn Hafner, who finds nothing but the bottom for three more. Elks up four with two and a half minutes to play. Westerville inbounding now with one second on the clock. They get it to Tillman for the win, but it's just off. And Centerville brings home the state crown for the first time in school history, edging out Westerville Central. 43-42 is the final score. Congratulations to each and every state champion. You deserved it, and we send big props to the finalists as well. Great season, one and all. Be sure to follow State Champs Ohio on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check out our State Champs TV YouTube page. Download the free State Champs Network app to catch all the shows. You can even watch on your Amazon Fire Stick or on Roku. I'm Lauren Plant. Thanks for watching. State Champs at the State Finals is presented by Lawrence Technological University and Lawrence Tech Athletics.